Hi everybody, this is Mr. Hartman. Just wanted to create a quick video to hopefully answer some of your questions and concerns. I've gotten a number of emails from students who are stating that they cannot turn in their Google slideshow, the NASA spinoff slideshow. They're saying that it's only allowing them to share it. And I'd like to show you how to do that by uh, demonstrating on a student account. So I'd like to thank Ava in period two for allowing me to use her account so that I can show you how to do this. Okay, so we're on the home screen. We're at the very top of the stream here. We're gonna scroll down until we find the assignment. So here it is right here, Google Slideshow Project, NASA Spinoff. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that assignment. And right over here on the right-hand side, just like how you submitted Google Docs 1 and 2, you're going to add or create. So I'm gonna click on that. And when I do this, this is very important that you don't go down to where it says slides because that will create a new slideshow. We don't want to create a new slideshow. We want to pick up uh, and attach a current slideshow that we've already made. So I'm going to click on Google Drive. That's going to bring up the most recent things that you have worked on. Okay, so here's Ava's portable x-ray. We're going to click on it and then hit add and you'll see that it's going to load up right over here. It is now loaded up and so now I can go ahead and click turn in and it's going to just ask me to double check. Are you sure you want to turn it in? Yes. So we're going to click turn in and now you can see that it has been submitted and there is an opportunity to unsubmit if you need to. Uh, hopefully you don't need to, but once you submit it, I'd like to uh, begin grading these as soon as possible. So if you could do that, I would appreciate it. Okay. So again, if you have any other questions about that, just shoot me an email. All right, with regard to how to complete the assignment that we sent home in the mail, okay? The assignment looks something like this. This is the actual packet. I uploaded that onto Google Classroom as well, All right? So as you see here, it does mention a, a reference to a textbook, okay? And these, these are some worksheets that we um, got from a old tech packet that we used to use many, many years ago. But it is still relevant today. And we felt that you could complete 99% of these answers by just doing simple Google searches. So for example, you have the matching communication technology and there's definitions. Just Google search communication technology and see which one of these definitions over here comes closest to what you found on Google. Production technology, transportation technology, and so on. Okay, true or false, you um, again can do a Google search and see what you can come up with. All right. There are several activities on here that are not requiring you to do a Google search. It's more about creativity, all right? So you can answer things the way that you feel they should be answered and um, come up with your own ideas, brainstorm. Here's another one where you're redesigning a product. Again, um, nothing to do with having to go on to Google and do a search um, for that. And um, again, you know, multiple activities here that do not require a textbook. Uh, none of them actually require a textbook. Again, just a simple Google search. All right, so I hope that answers your questions. Please stay safe. Please stay out of crowded areas and hope to see you in school um, shortly. All right, thanks and take care.